What is up guys, John here, welcome back to another Destiny video. Today is Tuesday, a few hours after refresh. I, shortly after the Bungie update and patch and whatever. And here we are, as you can see, Lord Saladin is back at the tower. Which means Iron Banner is back and out. Real quick, we're just gonna go see what he has to sell this week with the uh, rank ups when you play Iron Banner. He obviously has a mark available at rank 3 for all characters. As you can see this Titan mark is called the Wolfswood mark. Pretty nice, not too bad. Intellect, Strength, Auto Rifle, Sidearm, and Crucible Gains. Not too bad. He also has boots. These boots, uh, I think, they should be different on uh, all... They should look different, obviously, but uh, I don't think they should be that different on the other characters as well. Uh, I was looking at the second win perk that this has, which is one of the brand new perks, is on spawn. Uh, weapon and movement speeds are greatly increased. This will be extremely helpful during trials. So if you're able to level these up, I think these will be uh, very ideal for trying to you know, take control of the middle zone or try to get into your spots, uh, you know, like snipe spots in trials. So definitely looking forward to grabbing these. Leveling up will be a pain in the butt for those, so... Yeah, either way, I'm just going to go ahead and grab them. And those are available at rank 4 with 40 marks uh, is what is needed to purchase those. We also have the Iron Wreath D sidearm. Uh, I was looking at this sidearm as well, and it has really great perks. You could uh, have Zen Moment, it has a hot swap, and if you put Quick Draw on, it will draw the weapon unbelievably fast. And I think that will be, I guess, uh, be fun to mess around, you know, just to see how powerful this sidearm can be. Even though sidearms really aren't that powerful, but having these two kind of perks, hot swap, zen moment, and quick draw might be ideal for uh, this type of weapon. Well, sidearms in general. And we also have Near Wind's Mercy, which is a pulse rifle. It's a mid impact, uh, sort of high fire rate. It has really great perks. It has Outlaw, also has Perfect Balance, uh, Braced Frame, and Injection Mode, which I think is pretty funny because all it has is stability perks in the middle. And, uh, would be the most obvious thing to do is just go for the perfect balance as it doesn't negatively impact anything else. If you go for brace frame, max stability you get reduced max size and injection mode decreases the range by almost half, which is definitely not a good choice. And it also has third eye which is very ideal for primary weapons like these. And going on, we have the new emblem available at rank 1. And uh, another new emblem available at rank 5. This one, the first one's called Iron Pride. The second one's called the Ironwood Tree. We also have the shaders. I have these already available. I can probably just go get them out of the kiosk. But the first one is Million Million, available at rank 2. And the next one, Gold Spiral, available at rank 5. Uh, and these you can just purchase with Glimmer. Uh, over here, these weapons uh, both cost 90 apiece with legendary marks. And that's pretty much all he has. I thought he would have uh, at least two armor pieces, but no, he just has one, which is pretty nice. Uh, nice to see new things. And we also have brand new bounties. These gold ones are, I believe, the weekly bounties, since they give you legendary marks for completing them. Uh, Iron Gauntlet, get 10 kill streaks, 5 double kills, top overall score, and reach rank 4. Uh, we also have the Iron Marathon, complete 13 matches and win 7. We also have Iron Versatility. Uh, these are primary, special, and heavy kills, as you can see, 50, 25, and 13. Not too bad. We also have Iron Workshore. Uh, defeat 20 Guardians in the Iron Banner. These are easy. Familiar Iron. Defeat 13 Opposing Guardians with primary weapons. And Iron Hued. Win an Iron Banner match with an Iron Banner Emblem and Shader Equipped. Not too bad. It seems pretty straightforward, to say the least. But, yeah, there you go. Uh, we also have like new currency with uh, S Everest over there. She's in the uh, in the front where she used to be. That's a whole different story. There you go, guys. There's the little preview for Iron Banner. Now it's time to basically just go in Iron Banner and uh, try to get these wins. Try to lock some new gear, new emblem, shader, whatever. If you don't have that already, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.